Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're well. Yes, it is the afternoon. The time is flying by here today at Ho Chandra. It's one o'clock, um, just in case you're wondering. Um, I hope you're well and I hope you're enjoying your day as well. We've got a lovely show lined up for you. If you like stitching, embroidery, cross stitch could be right up your street. We've got a fabulous, uh, I'd say new guest, new to me, but not new to you guys. Uh, she has been here before from Caterpillar Cross. It's lovely Sally. How are you, Sally? Good I'm afternoon. good, thank you. Good afternoon. How are you? We're coordinating. I know, I know. And we didn't even talk about this <laughs> before the start of the show. I know. How amazing. How am but I think you carry it off a lot better than me. <laughs> Now, Sally, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Caterpillar Cross Stitch and about yourself and how you got into it? Yeah, sure. So, hi, I'm Sally. Um, I'm the founder and designer at Caterpillar Cross Stitch and I started the company in 2015. Um, I was on maternity leave. I didn't want to go back to my old job and I'd always been creative and crafty. Um, and we were looking for a baby birth sampler for my mum to stitch for my newborn daughter and couldn't quite find something that would fit in with the nursery. So one day I sat down, started sketching and Caterpillar Cross Stitch was born. Wow. And why Cross Stitch in particular? So I love how it's methodical. It's really relaxing. It's kind of painting by numbers, but with cotton. So it's quite a slow process. It's yoga, you know, it's yoga for the mind, really. It's a relaxing thing to do of an evening. And it's just a beautiful way of creating a work of art, but in a, in a slow, thoughtful way. I love that. You've made and created all these designs yourself as well and yes. taken your time to do that. We do have some other items on the show that's going to help you with your cross stitch. Um, but if anyone has not seen cross stitch before, these are the things that you can make. And it is using one stitch. One stitch at a time. So it's really easy for beginners. It's just an X formation. Anyone can do it. And the fabric, the Ada fabric is pre-gridded. Um, so it's, you know, it's all vertical and horizontal lines within the fabric itself, really obvious holes. So all you're doing is forming that X. So it's really simple to do. Now with your kit, you get your um, Ada, isn't it? Ada fabric. Ada, yeah. Ada fabric, yeah. Um, and it's a 14 count and you also get your caterpillar there, your caterpillar organizer with all of your embroidery threads on. And these correspond to the chart and the numbers that we've got. Yes, the key is included. So there's a full thread key at the back and it corresponds to the numbers on the thread holder. Okay. So all you're doing is looking down the numbers and for the right hole, for the right color cotton. And it's as easy as that, it really is. So when we're talking about maybe age ranges with this, what kind of age range would we start with cross stitching? We do have a junior stitch range, which goes up to about 11, 12. So these probably are from teenager onwards. Yeah. It just depends on ability and if someone's got help at home to sit and go through it. Um, this is one of the easier fabrics to start with the 14 count Ada. Um, but I would say probably from 13, 14 yeah. could cope with one of these. And why is it easy? Why is this 14 count fabric easier than others? So there's all kinds of different cross stitch fabrics. The brand that we use in all the kits is from Zweigart in Germany, which I think is the, the best quality fabric. Um, essentially in a one inch area, there's 14 stitches. So you could have a 16 count fabric, an 18 count fabric, and they have more stitches in the same area. So they're tiny that's much smaller beautifully explained beautifully explained um so a great kit for you to get started or maybe to continue with your cross stitching isn't this marvelous how beautiful and pretty is this you've got the lovely little fawn deer in there you've got your robin you know i love robins uh, you've got your squirrel in there and your bunny rabbit as well so your winter seasons in this beautiful tree how gorgeous is this 34 pounds and 89 pence a wonderful price as well and what a lovely project and afterwards you can put this in a frame if you want to you could uh, Sally add this to a cushion or, or, or a home design you could I've seen quite a few people actually turn these into cushions um, all kinds of things sort of wall hangings one person put them in a, inside a lap tray with glass on top oh, wow that's a good idea um, yeah, there's all kinds of different ways of finishing it off. Love that. What a great idea. Yeah, you could turn it into a tabletop. Uh, you also get the needle as well uh, included. 840852 is for your first option. And that is for your Hello Dear. That's your brand new one today. And your instructions will give you step-by-step -step guidance. Right. Uh, next up, next up is your Seize the Day. 
Do you like what we've done there? Seize the day. What a lovely scene. And we are thinking about our summer holidays and hopefully, well, I know we will get our summer holidays, whether yeah. it be abroad or in this country. But, you know, the beach is something that um, everyone here in the UK absolutely loves to go to. And I think something like this would look lovely in a child's bedroom, would look fantastic, maybe even in the bathroom, would you say? Yeah, definitely. Love all the designs on here. Again, designed by Sally. Do you love the seaside, Sally? Yeah, definitely. I mean, this was one of the, the most fun designs to actually create because it, it's a bit bigger than the others. So it's a nice chunky project to last you a few months. Um, but the fish and chips, um, there's barbecue, there's ice lolly, ice cream. Um, yeah, I was trying to sort of think British seaside, what yeah. kind of things, you know, I take you back to childhood on the beach. Oh, it's, I think it's lovely. And what you've got here when you can see, you've got, when well, you can see, see what I did there? Uh, you've got the beach huts there, you've got everything going on on the sand, which is fabulous with the barbecue, the lollipop, as Sally has just said. And then we come underneath the sea. I love what you've done there <laughs> and then you've got the boat on the top you've got the shells you've also got uh, your mermaid there and the seahorse and the little treasure chest as mm -hmm. well isn't that wonderful what a lovely lovely design 33 pounds and 79 pence 769 245 is your item number for that one it's another brand new one today and you've got all those wonderful bright threads in there as well now everything is going to be dispatched on the 8th on the 8th of March just lifting that up. Is that the shadows? No, it's a slightly different colour. A nice sand style colour. It is, colour. yeah. Yeah, well so the sandy aid, yeah. So, I mean, some of them are on white, but then there's a, we have slightly different colour fabrics yeah. depending on the design. And the DMC thread colours have been specifically chosen to really pop against the different shades of fabric. Yeah, they certainly do. They are gorgeous colours, lovely, lovely colours. A really nice project to work on up until your summer holiday this year. It, it will happen. I'm confident. Uh, I'm confident. Right, another item, another brand new one today. How lovely is this? This is your Easter bloom. Now, you will get this in time for Easter. So I'm going to ask the question. I know it's like, how long is a piece of string? But if we're going to give a time scale conservatively to something like this, how long would it take to make? I mean, Easter Blooms is one of our slightly smaller kits, smaller projects. So it is a nice one, certainly, to start off with because um, you're seeing progress a bit quicker. Probably to complete that, it depends if you're going to sort of commit to doing it every evening yeah. uh, or maybe just an, one hour of an evening. Um, some people could probably complete that in two weeks. Wow. Uh, it might take some people maybe four weeks, but yeah, hopefully in time for Easter. It's a nice little project to have. And like you say, you can sit down in the evening, you can watch the television, you could just sit in the morning. Sometimes we need something just to get that grey matter working and to sit there doing something like this because it's easy. Yeah. We can just relax, we can rest, we can think, we can have the radio on. It's not going to be too taxing, for example. Yeah. We can watch a bit of TV, watch Ho Chanda whilst we're stitching away, uh, to chat with our friends as well. £22.49, 163830 is your item number. And any of these pieces of art would be heirlooms because cross stitch is like that. When you put it in a frame, you put it on your wall, it does become an heirloom within the family, doesn't it? Sarah? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I was a teenager, I stitched pieces of my sisters and they've still got them now. And that was probably one of the first, uh, first goes I had at cross stitch when I was probably about 13. Um, and it's not the sort of thing that you're going to, you know, get rid of or have a clear out. It's the sort of thing that you are going to keep forever because of the effort and the care that's gone into it, making it by hand. It's really treasured. Yeah, it is lovely. And if you want to mount these, you can put glass in front of them, which is always a good idea, or you could just mount them as they are. Now, something that's going to help you along the way, we've got your magnetic needle minder. Now, I don't think I've ever seen these before. We've got some brand new ones for you today. Uh, but Sally, can you tell us how we use these? Because these are lovely. The top two one are your returning favourites and the bottom five here are brand new. So you've got your seaside huts there, which are lovely, bright and colourful. These are the new ones. You've got your owl. So owl will be watching your needles for you. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got your hello pumpkin, which is really nice. You've also got your koala bear there with a little baby koala. You've got your robin. Love robins with a Christmas bonnet hat on. You've got your flowers, which are gorgeous. And then you've got positivity rules. That's the one I'd have. Mm. Love that. So how do we use these, Sally? So um, I've got the robin here on a sample section of um, hello dear. So essentially, if I just take the needle off, um, they're hard enamel 
and there's two super strong magnets on the back and you can easily pull off the back magnet that goes behind the fabric and the top section sits on top of the fabric and then the needle almost it's so strong it almost flies onto oh, it by wow. itself so you can pretty much do anything in and out of project bags if you're transporting your project if you're doing it in the car or while you're waiting for something that needle stays there you don't need to you know, put it elsewhere, clothing, in the teeth, in the sofa, whatever. Um, it's yeah, don't always put your safe. needle in your teeth, but people do. People do. You shouldn't someone do. Someone swallowed one the other week. Oh, my not goodness. No, 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 no. Not no. one of our cousins, but no. someone did. Oh, <laughs> please don't put any needles in your mouths. Get hold of one of your needle organisers. And they come in a little pouch as well. So it's a lovely giftable. And you get that little uh, caterpillar on there. Uh, 7888, uh, sorry, 7, I have to think about that needle. 788976 <laughs> is your item number pop your needles on your organizers and of course you get your two magnets so one goes one side of the fabric and the other goes the other and they're strong to keep them connected um, and then your needle will stick on there which is fabulous 999 788 976 now we've got some returning favorites for you they're favorites so they are returning I love this now this is hello pumpkin and this actually where's your hello pumpkin you might want to go for your needle organiser with this because it matches. Yeah, your Hello Pumpkin. We'll put the details for that on the bottom of the screen if you want to go for your magnetic needle minder. That's your Hello Pumpkin. You can go for any one you like. You don't have to have the one to match the kit that you're going for. But this is absolutely delightful. Uh, now, this is something I think, Sally, you could have up all year round in your home because it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You don't necessarily need to have hello pumpkin up at, in an, at autumn time um, and we've got the hello deer the, the tree as well the winter tree um, so yeah those elements I mean who doesn't love sort of hedgehog fox the owl and there's the owl needle minder as well so each of those does match every one of the projects and the colors in the needle minders actually are exactly the same as the DMC thread colors um, so they all tie really nicely so oh, wow, hello pumpkin's yeah. got the pumpkin and the owl to choose from that is a great idea, isn't it? £33.49. pence. If you want to go for one of your needle organisers, the details are at the bottom of the screen. I love that. You know I love that because I love foxes. Absolutely beautiful. He's got a little scarf on as well to keep him warm. Love that. How delightful. Uh, right, we've got another returning favourite. Your adventure awaits, and doesn't it this year? It really, really does. Uh, another fabulous design here. This is really interesting. Have you done much travelling yourself? Yeah, quite a bit, actually, oh, yeah. obviously, not in recent years. Yeah. Uh, I think things were put on hold, yes. having two small children and yeah. obviously lockdown. Um, but it is something I'm really passionate about in, in normal life. So that is kind of the inspiration behind it. The colour of the fabric sort of representing the sea and the sky and then the black corners representing taking a, a photo, a shot of the world. Wow, that is absolutely fascinating. You'll see all those different places. And what's lovely about this, you can make and create this with younger members of the family and then you can go and have a look at world maps and then you can talk about the different countries. Maybe learn as you stitch. You've got the Golden Gate Bridge right there, which is brilliant. And is that that just there? Is that the, I was going to say the, the Aztecs. I almost thought it was the pyramid in Las Vegas, but it's not. Uh -huh. um, but isn't uh, it amazing? That is to represent Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. And then you've got your yellow taxi there. You've also got at the top there, you've got the Statue of Liberty. Oh my word, you wait till you get this home and see all the <laughs> different, different um, items that are on there. Really like that. And I love, is that, where are we? Right there. Is that Greenland or Iceland at the top? Just come up here. That's Greenland, yeah. This is super. <laughs> Absolutely love this. Where's your favourite place you've ever travelled to, Sally? Um, probably Thailand, I would say. Although, yeah. actually, I shouldn't say that because I don't think there's anything on there necessarily to represent <laughs> Thailand. There's lots of elements across Asia. And yeah. I think Asia and Australia, that kind of area, is somewhere I'd definitely like to go back to. Yeah, Australasia is fantastic. That huge continent that incorporates uh, Asia as well. Uh, £33.49. 132693 is your item number. This is absolutely fascinating yeah really really do like that one uh, and again it's going to be a great learning for you and you've got your it's a light blue it's a very pale blue yeah. yeah love that 
thought of everything. £33.49, pence. that is fantastic. You know anyone that likes travelling? That's perfect for them. And why don't you make it and give it as a gift? Uh, right, the final returning favourite today is Positivity Rules. Don't we all need this in our homes? Definitely. This one was actually designed in 2019. Was it? When um, we had no idea what was about to happen or you know, rainbows in our windows or that we would be inside our homes yes. and we would need these positive messages. Um, but this was first released in last year in 2020, in the middle of the year. Um, and it was a really popular one because everyone needed something to do, wanted to create, um, but also have a reminder of all of those lovely words to remember to smile and laugh and, and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, it's lovely. Isn't it? I think you're going to enjoy uh, any of the kits, but this is such a lovely, lovely idea as a gift for somebody after the year and then some that we've had to do this, to create this, to put this together. Uh, we'll just give you time to reflect, time to have a chat but also have something now on your wall for the future or give it as a gift to somebody. I think it's absolutely lovely. Uh, 34 pounds and 89 pence, 539806. Let's have a look at the website. This is where you can head to to see all of the items that we've got available for you. Really like that map one. Really like the, the Fox one as well. Really love these returning favourites. In fact, I love all of them. I love all of them. This is my whole year. This is my whole year set up for me. Uh, do go and check out the reviews. We've got some reviews there for the needle minders. They're available for you. Um, which are great. You've got all the different ones to choose from. Your beach huts, for example, your Hello Pumpkin. Uh, you've got your Koala. You don't have to go for the one that matches the kit you're getting. You don't have to buy a kit to get a needle organ minder. You just get, oh, I nearly said needle organiser then. Uh, your needle minder, you could get one of those separately from your kits uh, if you want to. You choose, you decide what you purchase from the show but they could be quite a collectible item. And positivity rules, I mean, that is just fantastic, isn't it? Even if you just get that to have it, it's absolutely fabulous. Uh, right, let's head over to Sally. If you've got any questions, please email in. If you've got any pictures you'd like to show us, maybe you've bought a kit from uh, Caterpillar Cross Stitch before, or maybe you've got some cross stitching you would like Sally to have a look at, then please do send it in. It is studio at hochanda.com. Right, Sally, what we're we gonna have a look at first? So the first kit that we're gonna have a look at today is the winter tree which is the Hello Dear, which is one of the new ones for today. Okay. Um, so you can see here, I've already stitched a very small section of it just to get going and with the matching Robin Needleminder. So what I thought we'd do is continue on um, this small section here, which is some sort of frosty blue leaves. So the first thing to do is we're just going to have a look. We're relatively near the centre, so there's two black arrows on either side, yep. and then there's two red lines. And where the red lines cross in the centre, that's where you want to start, the middle of the fabric. It's the easiest way because then you know um, that you're not going to go off the edge, you know everything's centred nicely. So as long as you start somewhere near the middle, it's fine. Okay. Um, so if we go for this dark blue, now every one of these squares has got a symbol on it, and this dark blue has got a black circle. So. If I correspond that then to the thread key, uh, we see that the dark blue is in hole 11. So I'm going to head over to my thread holder. Now these have all been pre-cut and pre-sorted. They're one meter in length. So if you want to use a, lo a longer length, you can, or cut them in half. Um, and you've got the exact lengths in the kit that you're going to need to finish the project and then some. We do include really generous amounts. Oh, that's good. So if you make a small mistake or, you know, something goes wrong, there's plenty yeah. there. You're not going to run out. And this embroidery thread, um, this DMC thread, comes in six strands, but we only need to stitch with two. So the first thing to do is to separate that out. So I've got four in one hand and two in the other. Now, people have different ways of separa separating out these six strands. But the easiest way I like to do it is just by running a finger down the centre and doing it that way. It's a bit slower. Some people pull um, the two strands out, but then um, you do run the risk of it getting knotted. So if I just separate that out and we'll leave that to one side. So with these 14 count Ada kits, the DMC branded needle that you get in the kit is a size 24, um, which fits the fabric perfectly. 
first thing to do is to thread the needle. Can I just let everyone at home know that the Hello Dear 20% of the stock has already gone. 20% if you want to get hold of Hello Dear, brand new today, it's absolutely gorgeous, it really is. 20 minutes into the show, 20% of the stock has gone. Those are the details on your screen everyone, 840852. And lots of people going for the uh, corresponding needle minder, which I'll bring in for you if you did want to go for it. It's the Robin. Uh, let me pop in there. There you go. Little Robin, which corresponds to your Robin there. Was, mm. Isn't this a fabulous kit to get? If you want the needle minder, details at the bottom of your screen, that's 9 99 Your 34 89 is for your kit. You get your Ada fabric and you also get your organiser and needle as well. Sorry about that, Sally, but we're busy for this one. Oh, good. OK, so we're going to be stitching the bottom of the three frosty leaves here. And all you need to do is correspond from the grid itself onto the fabric and count across if there are any, so if there's just a, a white space, that just that's the fabric, so that doesn't require any stitches. Um, so we're just going to be doing this one here. In fact, no, we'll do this one because it's easier to count across if you've already finished a section. So there's three blank spaces and then I need a stitch. So all I'm going to do is one, two, three. Here we go. Now we don't necessarily need to tie a knot um, you don't need to finish off the end in any way. Just push it from the back to the front in the bottom left-hand corner of the... You now you'll see the messy back there. I'm a big believer in it doesn't matter what the back looks like. Of course. Um, it matters what the front looks like and that's it. Um, so, so from the back to the front and then coming down again from the front to the back in the top right-hand corner. Now that's a half stitch. And then to complete the full stitch, we're coming up again from the back to the front in the top left corner and down again in the bottom right hand corner and that is one full cross stitch wow. now you can complete rows vertically or horizontally just using half stitches if you know you've got a section to do in the same color and then come back over them with the other half stitch to complete the stitch so you're only working vertically or horizontally at any one time um, so if we then looking at the pattern again um, we know, in fact, I need to come this way. If you want to swap it around, you can always come up in the top right and down um, in the bottom left, as long as the top stitches are resting in the same direction. So it gives a uniform look and those top stitches are all sitting nicely, going the same way. So we've got two stitches there and then on the next row, there are six. So you can jump over and keep going as long as you've got the same colour thread so you can do the whole of this leaf section at any one time um, you don't need to change the colour, you don't need to change the needle you just keep going until that thread runs out so you can see here I'm just doing half stitches in this vertical row and it's a lot quicker, you don't need to use a hoop as well you can just stitch in hand we call it okay. um, and that would just be me gathering up the fabric with my left hand here yeah. um, and don't worry about things getting grubby as well, which I mean, they shouldn't do really if you've got clean hands. But if you need to give it a wash when you finish the project, you can just with some gentle hand wash or soap or yeah. something like that and just sort of lukewarm water. So would this be when you draw a picture, you put your pen on the paper and then you, you, you tend to get that pen going around the full picture. But with something like this, could we do part of the bunny's ear and then go off and do another part? Or would you say complete the whole bunny, then complete a leaf, then complete the whole squirrel, for example? Or could we bit in and bob and go to different places? So I think if you're starting in the middle, yeah. Um, so we are, the middle's pretty much by the robin's tummy here. So we're not far from the centre here. Yeah. Um, it's going to be quite tricky to count too far away from the middle. Um, so I guess it's a compromise between trying to use up the same colour thread at any yes. one time. If you were doing the dark blue, for example, you wouldn't probably jump, you know, three inches to the edge to do another blue section. And you also wouldn't necessarily want to carry across the thread behind because you might see it from the front of the yeah. fabric, especially with a white fabric and a darker thread. Um, so I would say do one small section at a time and work outwards. That's the easiest way to know you're on the right track. And when we get the fabric home, for example, so I get my um, Ada fabric home and I open it up, where would I start? Do I lay the pattern on the Ada fabric and, and get a mark or where would I start to begin? So 
if you open up the fabric and fold it in half and half again, yes. You, so that one has already been folded in half and half again. If yep. you open it out completely, you'll see the center mark where it, just where it's ah. been gently folded. The folds will come out over time, just yes. as the fabric's being handled, and the fabric again will soften. On all of the patterns as well, in the bottom right-hand corner and on the packaging, um, be sure to double check. It will say if it's portrait or landscape. Yes. Um, double Very check good. that before we begin. So it's in the bottom right corner. That's a good tip. Um, because although you might think it, it's obvious when you know what you're stitching, it's yes. very easy to have that fabric uh, the wrong way up. Great tip. Great tip. It's interesting to know when you get the project home, whereabouts you start. Because once you start, if you go wrong, of course, you can just take the stitching out. Yeah. It's not like um, ink where it's permanent. No. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. Um, we say happy mistakes, make it unique. Yes. Um, there's no problem at all. I mean, as long as it's not a huge section. And yeah. if you do need to unpick a small area, um, as long as it's just done really carefully, it's not going to damage anything. No, because um, there's already holes in the fabric, exactly. the way that it's it's made up. So it's not like, oh, no, I've put a couple of holes in there. The holes are there already. It's what you're going through. Yep. Which is fantastic. And uh, another question. Let's say we finish our design and we're loving what we see. And we wanted to add, uh, like, maybe a signature down the bottom that we could stitch in. Can we do that as well? Is that OK? Yeah, absolutely. There's plenty of thread in the kits. So if you did want to personalise it, lots of people do in our Facebook group and social media just with backstitch so just really carefully something small initials yeah. a date some Good people idea. in um positive positivity rules in the house yeah. have stitched the year somewhere within the house itself as a, as a memory a of, of when they stitched it what a lovely idea you could do that with the presents on this one if you wanted to and if i wanted to maybe add a little b or something like that would you be okay with that i know you've designed these but maybe i want to just put a little b down the bottom here to stitch in would that be okay oh, yeah, to do absolutely i mean i love on social media seeing the you know the tweaks and the changes that people make especially with adventure awaits the world map one actually a lot of people because we sell them all over the world um, have then personalised it with um, an element or a landmark from their particular hometown. Oh, so they might idea. have changed it, um, whether that's an animal or a landmark or something. Um, especially in America, with um, they might have a state flower or a state fruit or something yeah. like that. They'll switch it up ever so slightly. That's a really easy one to personalise. What um, a great idea. Or they'll put a heart, a, a tiny heart on a location that they've visited. Or how about a remember. heart where you met yes. your partner? Maybe you've been traveling and you met your partner abroad somewhere. Um, you could put a little heart where you met. Isn't that lovely? You could and also, then you could, sorry, I was gonna, yeah. you could also do like a line in terms of how an airplane would fly across of oh, places you've been to. Yeah, I would love that. That would be amazing. We've got a plane at the top there. So yeah, you could have that little trail running or maybe you're taking somebody away for a honeymoon or a special, a special trip. Maybe this could be the secret and they've got to hunt in there like a little treasure. Um, not a treasure trove, treasure map, yeah. How fantastic would that be? Oh, there's loads of possibilities. Yeah. How about making and selling? Um, so these are copyright protected. So unfortunately, um, they can't be sold for profit, but lots of people do put their you know, love and care and stitch something and then maybe donate it to a charity or a charity auction. Oh, that's nice. Um, or stitch them multiple times and give them as gifts. Yes. Um, but yes, they're for personal use only. Um, lots of people do do them for sort of charity projects. That's a good idea. I, I mean, when you've done this, you probably won't want to give it away because it is so beautiful. And you mentioned there that we could, we could make another one if we get some more Ada fabric because we've got the pattern. Yeah. So maybe we've got, you know, two children, four children, uh, or more or less, and you want mm. to give one of these to all of them yeah. uh, as a present or maybe different members of your family, your nieces, your nephews or your grandparents. You could do that because you know what it's like. If you make one for one, <laughs> the other one will come along and they'll want one as well. Um, so maybe you could do one for yourself and then give the kit to someone else and they could make it. Uh, 3349 if you want to go for the adventure awaits. We'll change the details now uh, for your hello dear. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, hello dear. There you go. <laughs> 30, oh, that's the, we'll change it again. 
Oh, with, I tell you what, where's, where's the Hello Pumpkin? I could always bring that in here. We'll change the details. But there you go. There you go. Hello, dear. £34.89. An absolute delight to stitch as well. And what I love about these, you've got lots of colour, lots of detail, but it's all contained in that tree. Isn't that precise and beautiful? And just gives those images inside that, that hug, doesn't it? It's lovely, love that. £34.89, we're approaching a third of the stock gone already. Remember, you get all your threads on your Caterpillar organiser. Love that, isn't that brilliant? Um, and in here, 40, is there 14 different shades in this one? Yes. Yeah, 14 different shades, who'd have thought it? Um, well. Clearly Sally did because she's put it together for you. Uh, there you go. 840852 is your item number. Um, let's talk about going to the seaside. Go on, let's do it. I've booked a holiday. I've, I've only booked it here in the UK, but I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to do it. So I did. But it's not yet. It's not yet. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I'm going because you'll all try and book and go there. And I don't want to because I want to go again. Uh, right, not that I wouldn't want to see you. I'd love to see you by the seaside. Um, but I want to make sure I can book it again. Mm -hmm. uh, right, 769245 is your item number. Seize the day. Do you know what I love about this? Oh, there you go. Uh, we've got your beautiful seaside at the top, and then we go under the sea. Isn't that brilliant? I love that. What a great idea. What a great concept. Lots of colours in there for you to use. You've got 16 different colours on your Caterpillar organiser. £33.79. 769245 is your item number. Oh, look at the sun. Oh, just peeping behind the clouds. Oh, what a lovely... Actually, that picture back there of the sun, I think it was a cloud. That picture there of the sun actually reminds me of my producer's picture on his pass. <laughs> it actually does. Sally, you wait till you see it after I the show. I need to see this later yeah. now. <laughs> it, it, it actually does look like that. That is hilarious. <laughs> Subliminally, you see, I saw this design first and I saw his picture. Uh, right, that is fabulous, isn't it? It really is. 769245. Something I think may be for your, your, your mum and your dad. You know, if they used to take you on holiday by the seaside, something like that would be lovely. And you could... Sally, if you wanted to, you could actually add the name of your favourite seaside place down the bottom or something, yeah. you know, like Cleethorpes yeah. or Skegness. A lot of people do in the top left hand corner, actually, with the flag. I designed this in 2019. That's why it says that on it. Um, but you can easily change that to 2021 if you wanted to. Or yeah. 2022 if yeah. you wanted to yeah, save it for next top. year. Or there's enough space in that flag in the top left hand corner um, to add in a small name of place. Yes. On yeah. just above the beach oh, that's there. Th this one here. The uh, uh, How about the banner? Underneath on the banner would be good. Yes. Or underneath the aeroplane. So it, it's pointing, so it could be sort of it, it's telling you where to go. Beach yeah. this way or yeah. wherever it might be. Oh, life's a beach. We love it, don't we? Uh 769245, pounds and seventy-nine pence. Absolutely love that. I could just I could just sit. And look at, in fact I could just sit and look at all of these designs because every time you look you see something else and it reminds you of something else it's beautiful uh, right happy Easter everyone uh, Easter's not too far away Easter is on 4th of April it's an early Easter mm. an early Easter when's Mother's Day 14th of Mar 14th of March wow not this Sunday, the Sunday after. There you go. Uh, 163830 is your item number. £22.49. pence. A great little price, a great kit for you as well. And how beautiful is that? You've got a happy Easter on there, but again, you could leave this up on your wall all year round. Yeah, you could. I mean, that that egg shape, you know, new life. But it, it's bright and breezy and it's those sort of nice happy yellows to sort of... Uh, put us in a good mood and it's a really good one to start off with as well if you're not sure about cross stitch or you haven't done it before yeah. it's not overwhelming and because there's lots of little elements there you've got the tulip and the daffodil it's really satisfying to do because you can just do one section at a time yeah do you know what i like about these sets as well they're modern and contemporary yeah which is beautiful isn't it and i've only just realized that is the shape of an egg <laughs> And I've seen it all this time. And just as you've said that, I was like, oh, wow, yeah, it's the shape of an it's egg. It's not too obvious. I didn't want to actually yeah, like do an that. egg, but just a nice, subtle shape. That is fabulous. <laughs> now, you, now you've told me that. I love that even more. I love it even more. £22.49, pence. 
0330. Something's been very, very busy. If you have just joined us, welcome. It's great to have your company. These have been really, really busy because you can use these for all kinds of embroidery work. They are your needle minders. Let me just take this and show you. So on the back here, you've got a magnet. You place that onto your fabric and then your magnet on the other side. I'm going to pop that back on there. It's very strong, that magnet. There you go. And then this is magnetic. You can put your uh, pins on there to keep them organised, which is great for your work because you don't want to put your needle down and lose that, do you? £9.99, 788976 is your item number. And you've got your three returning favourites. I have removed two returning favourites. Where have I put the robin? I've put the robin somewhere. I shall find them. Oh, the robin is on there. Have I put... Oh, I've just put them top left. Sorry. <laughs> That's why I got the three. Let's pop that back down there. I don't want anyone getting the needle with me. <laughs> uh, right. You've got uh, these beautiful designs to choose from. You don't have to go with the design that matches the project, but it's kind of a nice idea if you do. Um, but if you want to collect them, they could be collector's items. £9.99. pence. 788976. Love that positivity uh, rules. Isn't that amazing? And get a little pouch to put it in as well with a little caterpillar on which is really nice because you can use that again for something maybe put your coins in there when you go to the supermarket for your trolley uh 978 your item number what a lovely little gift for somebody something for somebody that you think oh just want to get them a little thank you gift that would be perfect now we've got some returning favorites love these as well love all of them of course I'm going to like this one because I've got the fox right there. Uh, this is your Hello Pumpkin. So you've got the pumpkins down the bottom. If, you, if you're into anything that's whimsical, Sally, mm. I think you're going to absolutely adore this, yeah. aren't you? Because you've got the hedgehog in there, you've got your acorn, you've got your pumpkin, the owl, the fox. You've got those beautiful leaves in there as well and the toadstools and the tree itself. How lovely is that and those pumpkins really do look good 729 149 is your item number your threads you've got 14 of those and you've got your ada fabric there's lots and lots of color in that one isn't it lovely how again it's all encapsulated into that tree what a fabulous design and idea from our sally 729 149 is your item number 33 pounds and 49 pence because you are our sally now you know yeah. that oh good yeah. i like that <laughs> <laughs> our sally <laughs> uh, right um i don't know what's what have you got a favourite from all of these, Sally? I do get asked that quite often, actually. Um, it's really hard to pick. Most of the time, my favourite is the most recent design. OK. Um, so Hello Dear was released Christmas Just Gone. Yes. So that's one of my favourites. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's like children. You just can't pick. No, I, mean, I very love them good. all for different reasons. Very diplomatic. That. I like that. Uh, well, this travel the world. I mean, this is great, isn't it? So adventure awaits. I really, really like the idea. You've got all of these different iconic buildings and uh, little items there around the world to show you where you are, which is brilliant, isn't it? I think that's just a bit of thread there. There you go, we'll get rid of that. Uh, 33 pounds and 49 pence. This is brilliant. There's Dubai. What's that building called? Is it called the sail or something? Um, I think it's the Burj Al Arab. Um, that could be it. It's not the sale the, at the, all, is it? It might be called the sale as in, you know, like every day, but I yes. think that's the official word. Yeah. I did a lot of research into these elements. It did was you? really difficult to pick and try to get all of the amazing things from all over the world yeah, well, into your, one pattern. There's your double-decker bus. You've got your Eiffel Tower, Leading Tower of Pisa. You've also got your dolphin, uh, your boomerangs in there, Sydney Harbour Bridge, yeah. uh, which is fabulous. Uh, you've got... Now, where's New Zealand in there? That's there, it, there's Boston. Australia. There's New yeah. Zealand just there. North and South Island, New Zealand. There you go. At the very corner of the world. Did you know New Zealand is the furthest place you can go from England before you start coming back on yourself? Ah. Mm, there you go. Fascinating that fact. Be it the might next be wrong. Destination. But uh, mm. that's my, my opinion. There's your safari jeep in Africa, uh, which is brilliant. I've been to, on safari in Africa, oh. actually. This is bringing back some great memories. Those, mm -hmm. those are your pyramids there as well. Um, fantastic. Your windmills of Amsterdam. Uh, now, the rush, that one there is not the, not, is it the Kremlin? No, it's called something else. It's not the Kremlin, is um, it? It's the cathedral in Moscow. Yes, Red that's Square. right. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, oh, I, I, oh, I did know the name. Anyway, um, if you know, email in. Look at that. It is 
fabulous 33 pounds and 49 pence 132693 is your item number it's absolutely amazing i love that really do like that one uh, and lots of colors in there you've got 14 in total uh, right positivity rules absolutely nearly said something else then absolutely um i think it's really important isn't it to be positive and sometimes it can be very very hard when things are going on around you i know that it happens to us all but when those times happen, when you've got something like this on your wall and you just look at it, when you start to see those words of smile and fun and laughter, patience, kind, trust, share, I think it's something that you could just sit there and go, do you know what? Yeah. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful design. Again, lots of colours in there, lots of beautiful pastel colours. Uh, 13 in total and if I pick the Ida fabric up it's nice and pink in the background so you've got some lovely lovely colours there that complement that. £34.89 539806 is your item number which is a lovely design as well. Um, oh yes we've got some other designs to show you actually. Uh, you've got your un unicorn up there, the Wi-Fi password, there you go. I think that's fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got your alphabet which is lovely. Uh, oh hello sailor mm -hmm. uh, and why oh, why are pirates so popular? Because hmm. they are! <laughs> um, and there's, known your, that. <laughs> there's your ice cream with your lovely flake in it. Oh, I just want to go seaside now. Mm. Uh, let's stay positive. Let's stay positive. We will be getting there. Uh, right, Sally, mm. let's head back to you. What are we going to have a look at now, Sally? OK, so the next one we're going to have a look at is Adventure Awaits. So I've got the Russian doll here that's already been stitched. Um, so again, if we just look at the pattern, uh, so obviously that's been completed. Let's go for perhaps the green of these trees, uh, just because it's the closest thing and it's going to be the easiest to do. Um, so I can see here that this dark green, and just be careful in case there are a few different shades of the same colour. Yeah. Um, I try not to use too many where they're really, really similar and it's confusing. Um, so there's enough of a distinction. But we've got the dark green here and it's got three black dots in it. So again, if you just correspond that over to the thread key, there's full instructions here. And again, it says, make sure it's landscape, the fabric. So we know we're going this way. Um, and your illustrations here, just to show you exactly how to get going and more details for video tutorials and things like that. Um, so the dark green with the three dots is in hole six. So I'm just going to keep that out. And this pattern is split over two pages, but there, there is some overlap. Yeah. Um, so you can see here, there's about three stitches overlap. So if you did want to, you can separate them out um, and put those both together. So again, we're not gonna need very much to do this. And if you're not using these, um, whatever spare, you can just leave on there um, ready for next time. So it's nice and neat. So I'm just going to separate my thread out here. There's six strands in total. Um, so don't stitch with the whole thing because it's going to be too chunky. Um, on different types of fabric, you might need to stitch with six strands, um, like the junior kits, the ones up there, because that's on a completely different fabric. Yeah. That's on an eight count fabric. Ah, okay. um, but for 14 count Ada, we only need two strands because it gives enough coverage. Um, it's not going to be too chunky. So I'm going with the flower needle minder for this one. And I'm just threading the needle with the two strands and just leaving a bit of a tail like you would if you were stitching a hole or something like that in some sort of clothing. So I'm going to start at the back. Um, obviously your piece of fabric would be much bigger than this and you don't necessarily need the hoop. So all you need to do is count across on the pattern. So using something for reference, um, normally you would start in the centre of the pattern where the two red lines cross, which is in fact uh, the Egyptian pyramids. Um, so we've only got one gap here, one space, and we're going across. So starting in the back of the fabric, come up through the fabric in the bottom left hand corner, and then all you need to do is just leave a little tail. That's it. That gets darned in afterwards. OK. Um, that gets sort of caught. You can see here, it doesn't matter what the back looks like. Um, it's not going to just, the thread's not going to come out as no. if it was clothing or something. You know, if I was a bit worried about that, you know, if I'm cross-stitching for the first time, could I use maybe 
some double-sided tape or some washi tape just to stick it down you could use gently. masking tape yeah, yeah anything gently um it wouldn't damage it at all i suppose yeah if you wanted uh, the reassurance of yes. knowing that that end isn't going to but if you don't if you don't pull it too hard no um it's not going to go anywhere and you're using your needle um organizer just there yes there. we've got the um, very good dahlias needle and sunflowers. minder should i say sorry yeah i like that Flowers have been the popular one, Sally, actually. So I'll do the I'll do the first one as a full stitch. Okay. So bottom left to top right, and then top left to bottom right. You don't necessarily need to do it that way. Um, I think that's pretty much a standard way of doing it, but people stitch all different kinds of ways. I mean, really, as long as you're doing an X formation, it doesn't make too much difference. Um, we do recommend that you keep the top stitches all going the same direction just so that when it's finished and you've got a block of stitching um, and when it sort of catches the light, it um, picks it up nicely. So all I'm doing for every colour square on the design, on the pattern itself, just represents one stitch. So I'm just doing the bottom corner of this tree to the right hand side of this Russian doll. And it's really nice this one because if you have just got an evening or you've got half an hour, an hour, and you, you know, you want to do something productive uh, rather than say, I don't know, watching TV or something, um, you can just pick it up and put it down. It's really easy. And actually that, you might not think you're making too much progress, yeah. um, but when you then come back and look at it, you've actually done quite a yeah. few bits and pieces. And what's nice about it, you've chosen all the different uh, iconic locations around the world in this particular design. So here's the thing, you know, as you're stitching away and you're going through the different countries, why don't you spend some time, if you've got the internet, to go online and go to Paris, have a look at what the Eiffel Tower looks like, have a look at the streets around Paris, do a bit of research and find some facts that go alongside all of these iconic buildings and areas and countries. So it could be a talking point when people come round to your home and you've got a fact for every single place and every single country. This is another really popular one for um, nurseries uh, or for children's bedrooms as well, um, because all children love a map, they love exploring, they love adventure. Um, again, sort of great way to teach them about the world and, uh, you know, if they're learning about it at school as well, you can sort of correspond that to the place in the world. Makes it fun, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm fascinated with this. My really children am. love looking at it and uh, they're always like, oh, look, there's... They're obsessed with Australia at the moment. I'm not quite sure why, but, um, yeah, those fireworks are supposed to be the uh, New Year's Eve fireworks in Sydney. Oh, right, yeah, just at the side of it. Look at that. Amazing. And then you've got your snowflakes there. That's the Antarctic. Yeah. Yep, and then Greenland, Iceland, the UK, and you've got France and Amsterdam and Italy moving through to Russia there, going off to somewhere else on the edge, is that? No, Tokyo, Tokyo is down there, yeah. Yeah, we've got the uh, Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China, yeah, that's there. Got... Amazing, look at that. And then you've got the cherry blossom tree. Yes, oh, and the lovely. crane There's... tower is underneath the cherry blossom. Yes. Which I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name, um, but the details are all on. Um, yeah. They're on social media, and you know, if you if you contact us, we do have the full list. This um, is fascinating. And then underneath that is the Kuala Lumpur. Uh, I think they're called the Twin Towers, yeah. Kuala Lumpur, with a bridge you can walk across. Oh, my goodness. Uh, which I've actually stood on that bridge. No, yeah, you haven't. It's just, uh, oh, it's just glass or... I can't even get on a chair without going dizzy. <laughs> I, I, I look up and I go dizzy. I would not be able to do that. Mm. That is amazing. I've jumped off a bridge oh, wow. with, a, with a piece of rope tied around my ankles That's about four enough. times. Wow. Um, but I, I couldn't go to those heights. It was only because mm. I was jumping off the bridge that I went there. Um, but, wow, was, that sounds so wrong, doesn't it? But, you know, there you go. I love that. And there's that boomerang, which I've, I thought was a croissant the first time <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> this is just fascinating. At what? See, we're sitting here now, or standing rather, on the show. We're, we're having a chat about all these different places. We've been to some, we've not been to others, talking about the culture that are in the different countries. And, and that's what craft is all about. It's about learning as well, yeah. not just what you're putting down on your stitching, broadening your horizons, yeah. And connecting with others. We've had a lot of people who have family abroad and haven't been able to see them right now yes. um, and people have stitched eventuate and then sent the finished thing to I've had 
customers whose children are working in schools in different countries and then it's up in hospitals and schools and churches oh. uh, so kind of represent all different cultures and respect what, for that do you know what that is a lovely idea and i guess what you could do as well have all the different have in all the different languages have welcome hello mm. and going all the way around that would be Never really even nice thought of that yeah that That's would be amazing a, there's another design for you. I was going to say it could be an add-on. Yeah, all the different welcomes. That I bet we're going really to see nice. someone do that now. Yeah. <laughs> In Leicester train station, they've got that sign oh, with yeah, all the nice. different languages, which is just beautiful. It yeah. really, really is. How lovely is that? Yeah. I'm that. just going to finish off. I just yes. wanted to show everyone. Um, so when you've finished here, all you need to do, because I finished this really small section of dark green, I'm just going to push the needle underneath these two stitches. That's all it's going to take, and that is just darned in there. And then trim it off quite close, because I don't want, I don't want anything sort of hanging around on the we back. We don't need to knot those. We don't need to glue them. No, or anything. absolutely just nothing. Stay. And then needle goes on there, ready for the next section. Oh, look at that! Who'd have thought just by using cross stitch you could create something as beautiful as that? And I think it's the colours that Sally uses in all of the kits. They are absolutely spectacular. They really are. And the quality of the threads that you're getting, it's not just the colours, it's the quality of the threads, but they are beautiful and bright. You're going to love working with these. Uh, right, let's head to the website. This is where you can head to to see all the items available for you on the show. Um, and you can see the different five-star reviews on the returning favourites. Uh, which one is your favourite? Which one are you going to go for? Do you love the seaside? Do you want to go for Seize the Day? Um, are you lover of Easter, for example? What a lovely design that is as a gift for somebody. The needle minders have been so, so busy. You get that free pouch with those as well. We'll go through those in a moment. We've also got your embroidery hoops. Very colourful. Look at the five-star reviews. Look at the embroidery seat frame. That is so handy because you've got both of your hands to work on that you're not holding it because you're sitting on it or just putting your leg over it um we've got sounds so wrong sorry uh we've got your crisscrossing paris wow that's brilliant love that so uh that is a journey to the heart of paris in 20 cross stitch is that a project is it a book ah 20, yeah, okay, that makes sense now. Yes, of course, all in the prep, Janice. Um, that is great, so you've got lots of different designs in there. 10.99, that's an absolute bargain. Absolute bargain for that one. Well worth going to take a look at. Uh, right, Sally, we have got... Oh, can I, do you mind, can I just quickly go through the needle minders? Yeah, of course. Very, very quickly. Uh, we have got the needle minders available to you. We've got returning favourites and we've got brand new ones today. They're 9 99 788 your returning favourites of the Owl and the uh, Beach Huts. And then you've got the brand new ones. You don't have to go for the ones that correspond to the projects you're getting. Uh, you can get anyone you like. You've got Hello Pumpkin. You've got the lovely Koala in there. Isn't that sweet? Uh, you've got the Robin. And then you've got those beautiful blooming flowers and positive rules. Positivity rules. Love that. Right, Sally, we've got three minutes left. OK. Um, so I just wanted to show you this small section of the Hello Pumpkin autumn tree design. You've got the toadstool down here um, and I'm using the Hello Pumpkin enamel needle minder there. Um, so, yeah, these are just sort of sample stitches to show people, you know, how to do it. Um, but with this design in particular, I didn't, there's an awful lot of sort of autumn type designs um, that are very brown and orange. Yes. Um, and I really thought it'd be fun to add in sort of the, the aqua turquoisey, Ooh, the different yeah. shades of green and then the bright pink. Yes. Because actually on the leaves on the trees, you do see all kinds of different shades. It's not just a dull, yeah. dull brown and orange. Um, so I haven't got the pattern in front of me, but I'm just going to show you just briefly how I would do what we call confetti stitches. So if you only needed to do one at a time and then jump, you wouldn't be jumping too far. Um, but you just complete the full stitch in one go like so. And then you just count across. Let's say it was, I always think in my head, I go two across, one up, two across, one up. Okay. And that way I can remember exactly what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, all the woodland animals in Hello Pumpkin, it's one of the most popular designs, I think, of all time. Um, it is delightful. The people, colours are beautiful. They give everyone names as well. So Do they? we have, um, yeah, the, I think it was Freddy Fox Aww. and 
Mrs. Prickles was the hedgehog. Um, I not, can't remember what the owl's name was, actually. Um, Olivia? Let's call her Olivia. Yeah. Let's go with that. I'd call, I would call the fox... Filbert mm, would be a lovely name. Oh, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah. Filbert would be a nice name for that fox. Uh, and then you've got your pumpkins underneath. And you could be um, Mary Mushroom. Yeah, there we go. That's cute. Yeah, it's, it is beautiful. And I love the colours that you've used, Sally. Thank you. Yeah, really, really do. I think that's what makes these so attractive. I love pink and red together. It's mm. an orangey red as well. It's a really vibrant. Yeah. DMC have about 500 different colours to choose from. So it's a really hard process to narrow it down sometimes. Oh, and I really like the way that in the design as well. Look at that leaf. That is a proper autumnal leaf, isn't it? The way that that ombre effect goes through. And the pumpkin as well. Have you noticed that with the different oranges and reds on? That's lovely. Hmm. The light's hitting it just from the left. Yeah. And the bottom right pumpkins at the, on the floor as well. I had to make sure it was the same. Yeah. So the darker one where the shadow would be. Very clever. Very, very clever. So we are coming to the end of the show. My word, it just flies by, doesn't it? Uh, what absolutely marvellous designs, Sally. I love Thank all you. of them. Um, when are you back? is the main question not sure i Ooh. will come back next month for a, an easter edition <laughs> oh lovely uh, well thank you so much for coming in today it's Thanks been a joy to work me. with you thank Pleasure you to be here uh, and do get your needle minders before we sell out and also have a peruse of all of the different designs that we've got available thanks to sally thank you and we'll see you guys after the